What's up? I'm Ellis Chang. I'm a 2022 utility player out of Port Gad High School in Charleston, and uh, this is what's in my baseball bag. So first of all, this is a pocket radar that I bought for way too much money that Cooper Holbrook took from me. So that's just something to know. I'll put that back in my bag. So start out with the big stuff. This is the this is the catcher's mitt I use. It's a Salvador Perez Rawlings model. I've had it for four years and it's just always been the glove that I've loved. I'm, I've used Rawlings my entire life. I've never cheated with Wilson. I'm proud to say it. It's uh, I just love the way they make it and it just feels, I've always thought personally, it feels more genuine than Wilson glove. Hope nobody comes at me for that, but yeah. So, moving on to the infield glove I use. I've had this since the sixth grade. I bought it at a tournament in Myrtle Beach for $50. It's a heart of the hide model with the iWeb, and I've just always loved it. So, it's just been my, my glove. This is named her Carly. She sleeps in the bed, but that's kind of, <laughs> this is the baby forever. Uh, so moving on to the catcher's gear. So I got this mask two years ago. It's a Force 3 two-piece. Um, you can't use it in high school, which sucks, but I've always loved it for the visor. I really think it's the best mask you can get, but you just can't be the, there's a sun visor and it just gets the job done. So then, this, this all goes together. Catcher's gear, I have had All-Star System 7 for all three years of high school, so these shin guards are on their way to falling apart. Never use knee savers, because they just make you feel like a lesser person. Um, <laughs> this is, <laughs> story with this chest protector is actually funny, because they changed the rules about two years ago in high school, so I went out there the first inning and had on a chest protector that I always used, and they changed the rules, I guess, for safety, so I was using the other team's chest protector for a three-game series, and that's kind of an interesting story with that. So, uh, batting gloves, I'm a <laughs> Marucci guy that turned into Franklin just because my Marucci's ripped every week. They're really nothing super special, white and gold, just because I thought it looked nice. But um, Dick Sporting Goods, warranty. Now if I rip them, $3, I get a new pair for free. So it's a must have. All right. So the helmet I use, it's just Rawlings. The story with this is actually, we were at a tournament, I was, so it was, maybe this last summer, and it was the worst slump of my life. So, just trying to figure it out, and then we, I just had a kind of idea in the middle of it. We had a time between games, and then I went, and I just changed the helmet that I was using. For whatever reason, it clicked. Kind of got hot, so now that's what I use. So, bat-wise, for high school, the last two years, I've used the Gosh, 2019 Meta Prime, and it's just always gotten the job done. It's light, and you can't really miss. You can hit one off right here, and it'll go just as far as if it's right here. So I just always loved it. I'm kind of getting back into the Voodoo one right now, just because it's got juice. But I think this is just a great bat for somebody, especially because I hit lead off. And if you're looking to just put up the bat on the ball and get knocks, this is what you want. If you want to hit the ball out of the ballpark, maybe the voodoo one, but that's just what I love. Um, so then, nothing special. 
Just got the Evo Shield leg guard because I banged myself up in the cages pretty bad. Just used it, so. This is so cool. <laughs> uh, cleats, these are nearing the end of their days. You can barely see that there's still a spike right there. But these are Adidas. Uh, the afterburners and I've just used these for two years because they're light and steal some bases with them feel like you're fast they've got a kind of cool design on the back but yeah they've just always gotten the job done I think I'll have to replace them soon but if they last me two years I think it's something that anybody should look into who's trying to run the bases all right so next up I've got all-star training mitt for catching it's something that I just love using, it kind of trains your hands because you've got a pocket that's about the size of an actual baseball. There's, you got to catch it perfect to get it in there. So just use this when I'm practicing kind of receiving, when I'm practicing transfers. And it's just, it's a great training tool that I'd recommend any catcher out there. So got in here some probably eight year old J-bands I use before every game. They, um, I've had my fair share of arm injuries, shoulder, elbow, so it's very important to me that I warm up before every game. It's kind of like a ritual at this point. Go listen to some uh, Juice World before a game, get my J-band work done, and then we're, uh, we're good to go. All right, so I've got the, uh, these have kind of become big recently, but just a sliding mitt goes on my right hand because I had some pinky, I had kind of a half fractured pinky a while ago that I had to keep up with and um, yeah, I'm a head first slide guy, I think that it's faster so this is just important for me to have so I don't bust anything up. And then the last thing kind of comes out of the ruins of my option football career as an option quarterback but uh, tore up a shoulder and now I have to wear a brace everywhere I go. So that's what's in my baseball bag and thanks for watching. Hey guys, since we hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel, YouTube let me open up a merch store right on my channel. All you have to do is go to my channel, click the store tab, then click an item and it will take you right to the merch store. Every item sold is helping grow the channel and bring you guys more videos. So check it out, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to like this video. And once again guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel and getting it to 10,000 subscribers.